Let me out! Let me out of here! Let me out of here! Aww. Welcome back to the channel, man. Put it in the comments down below if you guys enjoy uh, clips like that or little video edits like that. Uh, basically, just no words, no added sounds, just you know, just getting things done. But anyhow, I am picking this video up kind of currently. It is before, like I'm in the middle of the video, you know, the clip that you just seen. So because right now I'm just now primering this thing. <laughs> so the idea here is I am putting a deadbeat sticker right in the center. I want to peel it after the primer kind of dries and then I'm gonna go over this with the black. So then it has kind of like, like it's indented down in. Like it's not gonna stand out like crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be kind of subtle, you know? But yeah, I'm letting this first coat of primer just kind of set up and then I'm gonna go back over it with another coat. I want the primer to be really thick because that's going to be like the depth of the letters where the sticker's at after I peel it. But I'm also wanting to get those tracks done while we're doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a spot so we can get these sanded and primered as well at the same time as this. I wanna be able to, I wanna be able to paint them black at the same time. So I'm just gonna skim over these things with this little Brillo pad, man. Just, just lightly scuff it, get rid of the shine so we can put some primer on it.
All right, so now this thing is dry and I got it peeled. I need to try to figure out a way to get it hung up because we got to be able to paint both sides of this thing at the same time. So I took some wire and I made some little loops on the end of them, just like that, so that we can shove it through the holes. Now I can go ahead and paint the back side. We'll primer the back side. Alright, just got back from Home Depot. Dude, I've been having one hell of a time trying to get this wing painted. So I was completely out of spray paint. I had enough to do these little, like the little bracket. So that has a nice satin sheen to it, right? Well, that's all the satin I had, bro. Like I literally had like 10 empty cans. Every freaking can that I found was empty. So I found a full can in which ended up being gloss. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna send it because I'm trying to get this done before the sun goes down so I can put up a video. And which of course, every time I try to hurry and rush through things it ends up taking me longer because now I need to wait for this freaking gloss ass paint to dry so I could scuff it and then hit it with satin because I can't I can't freaking stand the gloss see it Jeez. pretty gangster huh just looks like shit cuz it's gloss paint yeah. bro that is hella shiny. It shows all like the orange peel and dust and shit that you get with spray paint. <sighs> yeah, so anyhow, and of course, I've been struggling to find satin paint for whatever reason. The only satin I can find is this canyon black. Like, I don't know what the hell that's all about, but it looks like black to me. I grabbed the whole box. It's all they had. And I finally found a quart can of actual enamel and not latex, but it is the barbecue black, but that's all good. Um, I got this because I'm thinking I'm gonna spray the hood with that. To be straight up with you, I really liked the way the hood looked whenever it came in, whenever it was uh, brand new from LMC Truck. You know that black primer that like aftermarket body parts always come in? I don't know why, but that just looks so damn good on the truck. And I really wanna match that the best that I can. I'm hoping that this barbecue black is going to be somewhat close to that. Basically like a satin, right? Like, I don't know. A little bit duller than a satin, I think, but not quite flat. Anyhow, yeah, this came out like crap, dude. I cannot, st I should have known better. Gloss takes longer to dry. <sighs> I also hit these pieces with the gloss because it's all I had. But we're gonna fix that. Sometimes slower is faster. You take your time and it don't take you as long because now I gotta redo it. All right, here's a little trick, man. This is a 2000 grit. This is one of those foam back pieces of wet sandpaper. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a bucket of water. Now, over my years of painting at the sign shop, I I mean, I've done my fair share of mistakes that needed to be resprayed. Hell, I've actually fixed runs in paint with this same method. So basically you let the paint dry long enough to where it's kind of dry to the touch. Right now I could drag my fingers on it lightly. But if I was to actually like grab it and like squeeze it, you would press a fingerprint into it and you would feel that it's actually sticky. But at this point, if I was to just sand it with regular sandpaper, it would just gum up. You'd basically make it a lot worse, bro. So if you don't have the time or the patience to wait for it to completely dry, you can wait until about this stage. Um, this has been hanging here for I don't know, about 30, 40 minutes now. But even though this paint is not completely dry, I can go ahead and wet sand it. As long as I'm careful, keep it moving, and you don't wanna, you don't wanna stop, and you wanna try to avoid touching it with your hands as much as possible. And make sure to keep it wet. It's gotta be wet, bro. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just run over it with water. And I'm gonna air dry it. So this is after going over it one time. Now obviously you dry it so that you can see what it is you have sanded and where you haven't. I need to do some more sanding here, but then also it makes it to where like the imperfections will pop out at you. You see all those little specks of dust? So yeah, man, I'm gonna keep sanding until all the shininess is gone and until I get rid of the specks of dust. All right, I got this thing pretty good now, so all the shininess is gone. It's kind of a cool look like that, huh? Just being wet sanded, but nah, we're gonna spray it. <laughs> it is a little bit chilly out here, especially after wet sanding it and getting this thing all covered with water, so I'm gonna warm it up a little bit with the torch. Also going to be warming up our can of spray paint just so it has better pressure.
Well, it was the next day. We ended up redoing that paint last night, which I'm glad we did because it most certainly looks a lot better now that it is satin rather than that damn gloss. Whew, man, boy, that thing came out clean. Hell freaking yeah, dude. I love the deadbeats in it, like embossed in it. It's, it's so subtle. Like it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb, but it's definitely there. I have got to be so easy with this glass, man. I don't want to break the glass, man. So these hinges are the exact same thing as what is already on there. Just they have the actual riser that that little wing attaches to. All we have to do is remove the ones that are currently on there and then install these ones. And then we'll have the risers to be able to screw the wing onto. Well, while I have this window off, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up because it does have some overspray on it. You can hear it. And also there's like some adhesive left over on the back. Somebody had a temporary tag on it at one time. So I want to get all that off as well. All right, so I'm going to be using my Velcro DeWalt sander when I go get a damn battery. Shit. This is Velcro, and I have Velcro wet sandpaper. This is 3,000 grit. It's very fine. I know the last time I sanded on my windows, I wet sanded them. I had people in the comments just saying, you don't do that. That's not something you do, but it's something I do. Basically, I'm just going to be wet sanding the window. Get rid of all the crap on it. I got a bucket over here with water. Gonna get this nice and wet. <laughs> So now we've already gotten rid of that grit sound. But we're gonna go a step further than that. I'm actually gonna be using my two-stage polishing compound on the glass as well. I really need to do this to all of the glass on the blazer, and which I eventually will, but that's probably gonna be one of those like after we get it running, like final, like really detailing type of things. I just wanna do the rear window while I have it off. And honestly, that tape that we've already gotten off is what has been driving me nuts. But I am gonna go ahead and polish this while I have it off, starting with our step one. You may not think so, but this actually makes a huge difference on the glass. Makes it look brand new and really shiny, and it makes it repel water. <laughs> I'll do the exact same thing with step two. Well, there it is, man. The blazer is accessorized. <laughs> I don't mind the wing, bro. I think the wing actually looks pretty good. It's one of those things that I'm, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's kind of in between. I, I don't think it looks bad. There's certain angles that it's kind of like, it looks a little weird. I think mostly like directly from the side, like directly this direction. It has kind of a weird look to it because of the angle of it. Though you gotta remember, the front of the truck is sitting crazy high right now because it has no engine in it. Yeah, it's one of those things that I'm I'm glad that I can go back and forth. I have the other hinges, I can swap it out at any time. And honestly, I wouldn't mind to get another set of these and maybe try chopping it like straight right here and then fabricating like some kind of aluminum like drag style wing like what we have on khaki just to see what it looks like i don't know who knows it might look freaking ridiculous on this but <laughs> directly from the back i think it looks sexy as hell especially with the silver hardware which i don't know if you noticed i definitely swapped the hardware out the hardware that was in here was all rusted and it was phillips so I put these security style screws in there and they have a nice polish to them. So they kind of pop. This angle over here is pretty good too. I don't hate that. I think it looks pretty sick. But one thing I'm definitely not 100% sold on uh, is these little things on the roof. These, uh, these strips. I don't think, I mean, it doesn't look terrible, 
but at the same time like I think it takes away from what it is I'm trying to do with this blazer like because I want it to be more I don't know if you'd say sporty or muscle what <laughs> somewhere in that realm you know what i'm saying but i think those things up there just kind of take away from that and it gives it more of that suv vibe which i'm not really i'm not trying to embrace the suv vibe i'm trying to make it look more like i said sporty or muscle truck suv ish <laughs> i'm gonna leave them for now who knows whenever we get it all done uh it might just it might flow you know we're gonna switch up the bumpers. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this trim around the tail lights chrome. Um, honestly, I might end up just completely getting rid of all the chrome altogether. So at the end, I might end up liking it up there. We'll see. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video, man. I am going to now, once again, continue on the EP3. I only pulled it out of the booth because I was running out of daylight and I wanted to paint all that stuff. So I gotta get the booth cleaned out. We're gonna get that back in there and start working on it. Get it disassembled and get the sanding process at least going. You know what I'm saying? But I hope you enjoyed this video throw it in the comments down below of course like always let me know what it is you think let me know your opinions peace out and i'll see you on the next one where who knows maybe toby might actually be awake huh killing my vibe bro you're killing the vibe over here sleeping man